This is Annie from the QuickBooks team. If you want QuickBooks Payroll to pay and file your payroll taxes for you, we'll need your business tax info. For this step, you'll need your business legal name and address, and federal and state account numbers and rates. Let's go over how to add your tax info. To begin, go to Payroll and Overview. Note, your navigation may look like this. From Fill in your tax info, select Start. First, you'll need to fill in some info about your company. Make sure the name of your company is the name on the file with the IRS. If your business is a sole proprietorship, the company's legal name should be the owner's first and last name. If you aren't sure what your company's legal name is, look at a letter or notice you received from the IRS. Verify the address shown in your company's legal address. Then choose the type of company you have, such as a sole proprietor or nonprofit. If your company is an LLC or a corporation, select Other. Select Next. Next, you'll enter in your federal EIN. You must have your federal EIN to pay employees. If you don't have one, you'll need to apply for one with the IRS. Then choose which federal tax form you file with the IRS and how often you pay taxes. If you aren't sure, look for your EIN confirmation notice from the IRS. Select Next. Now it's time to add tax info for each state you're required to file in. If you aren't sure which state taxes you're required to pay and file, contact the state agency or an accountant. Add your state employer account numbers for withholding and unemployment. If you don't have them, you'll need to register with the state. You can leave the account numbers blank for now and add them later. Choose how often you pay your state withholding tax, if applicable. If you aren't sure, look for your deposit coupon book or contact the state agency. Then, if you know your unemployment insurance rate, enter it as a percentage. Some rate notices show your rate in decimal form. If you aren't sure or don't have your rate yet, select No and use the rate shown. If your state has any surcharges or other taxes, like paid family leave, they'll also be listed here. Be sure to choose your company's rate. If you have more than one state, select Next and fill out the info for that state. Once everything looks good, select Done. That's it. Now you've entered all your federal and state tax info. Nice work.